What I have right here is the Bronx Staves by Hummingbird. The Bronx comes with a manual and it's in various languages. This has all the information that you would need. It tells you its stroke, it tells you how to take off the RCA attachment and swap it after the battery. It tells you how long the battery's gonna last. Wow, that's a long time. Overall, a good thing to do is to always read the manual whenever you get a new machine. Bronk also sent me a t-shirt, which is great. I think it's a double XL. So if I look big on camera, I'm a medium, but I mean, it's really comfortable. I've been wearing it to bed, so. If we're gonna review the t-shirt, it's pretty comfortable. So 10 out of 10 for the t-shirt. They also sent me a banner, which is cool, which I actually have hanging up in my garage. As you can see, we have a USB type C cable. It is still wrapped up because I have maybe 45 of them. RCA attachment, kind of looks like a dreidel. It does have an Audi RCA attachment opposed to an any. Big kahuna, the big mama, the Staves tattoo machine itself. It looks very sporty. You know when Apple pairs with like Adidas and they have like the Apple Watch with like the Adidas logo on it. This is what this feels like. This feels very, very like sporty. This is probably one of my favorite machines I've ever been sent to review. I really, really like it. I wish I got like two of them. <laughs> really easy to take the battery on and off and it's easy to have the RCA attachment on there. It does fit well with every battery I've put on it. I put on a critical battery. I put on an ambition battery. I put on a battery that this also came with um, as addition for me to review, which I did on TikTok. Um, it fits everything really well. It's really snug, so I like that. Here's the grip. Because people like seeing that for some reason. Really easy to adjust, little to no effort. We're gonna go to 6.9. Don't do that. The lowest it goes is five volts, at least with this battery on it. It's super quiet and there's next to no vibration, which I find absolutely insane. This is how quickly it turns on and off. It's a 3.5 stroke machine and it's super comfortable. I never really found myself fighting any awkward angles with it because I know if you've ever used a machine that was too big for you or just kind of a goofy odd shape that as you're turning something or as you're trying to do something you feel like you're almost fighting the machine this machine i never felt like i was fighting or felt like i was trying to work around this i always felt like this machine was servicing me this machine was super easy to wrap i do love machines with longer grips i don't like the little short grips where the grip tape ends up going over it and going into the battery or the frame i never felt myself struggling or wishing this was a different shape if you guys are interested in this machine i do have a little discount code for you guys so make sure to be on the lookout for that in the comments or my tiktok or wherever i decide to post it which more often than not, it's everywhere, so you'll see it if you're here. Four to seven hours for the battery, which is pretty good. It's pretty average. Um, I did find myself noticing that the battery was probably a little longer than four to seven hours. I'd probably say like eight, eight and a half. Not by much more, but by enough to think that, hmm, this probably should have died by now. But no, it was actually pretty lengthy battery. It takes two and a half hours to charge, which is actually not very long. I think fine line, I think gray wash, I think... A lot of things that are just very soft. And it does have a Swiss motor, so that is also good information to have. I've gone over everything I like about the machine. Now to go over the one thing I don't like. Now this is a personal me thing, but honestly, I don't like touch display batteries. That's just me. I do prefer mechanical batteries with little buttons and tactileness. I do not really like touchscreen. I feel the same way about the Ambition Vibe, but I do prefer batteries with buttons. I don't like touchscreen. That's just me. That's my personal opinion. Keep the touchscreen to the phone, honestly. So what I found myself doing is using the RCA attachment with other batteries or with a power supply, and I found it much more fun to use. I just don't like touchscreen. And that's just a me thing. You might love touchscreen. You might prefer touchscreen. Me personally, the machine as is like this with the RCA attachment with a battery on top that isn't the one that it comes with is my preferred way to have it, you might feel differently. I really do love this machine. This machine's absolutely bonkers. I thought the reviews might be kind of baloney. I was thinking there's no way it's actually that good, but it is, that's the thing. It's actually really, really nice. Like it just looks like so athletic. The Ambition Soldier, the Ambition Vibe, and the Dragonhawk S1 kit are the next videos coming in for rotation to be reviewed. So if you guys have any recommendations or want a company to reach out to me to review a specific machine, please let them know and have a great day.